You know, sometimes as a creative, I get these random spur of the moment motivations to go out and create stuff. And today's one of those days. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So about a year ago, I made a video, produced the whole thing, edited it all down, and was going to release it. And it revolved around me buying a new car. For the longest time, I owned a Fiat 500 Abarth, and I made a lot of this YouTube channel around that specific car. But I bought another car, sold that one off, and I was going to start making YouTube videos on it, but it never actually happened. And the first video was all done about a year ago, and I decided, you know what, a year later, let me actually make a video on this car and potentially get back into making YouTube. So the car in question is this. This is my Mark V Rabbit. It's an 09 model. It's a five speed manual. It has a bunch of stuff I've done to it. As you can see, it's lowered. It, it looks it, it looks different than, and I'll show you guys clips of what it looked like beforehand when I actually bought it, but it looks completely different now. I'm going to start with the exterior of this car because there's a few things I wanna point out that in that video, the original video that was intended to go up, I did point out, and I'm gonna have a few clips in here of that, you guys already have seen it, but let's start off with a lot of the exterior stuff that is done to this car, what needs to be done, and what I plan on doing with it. First things first, there was a big dent here, like bigger than it is right now, and got that popped out, now all I have is this little, weird little crease right there, so that's not too bad. Um, one of the headlights, I think it's this one. You can tell it kind of moves. It's kind of loose in there. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not too concerned with that. These taillights are probably going to go for something else. I don't know what yet. I would like a set of Impros, but let's be honest. Impros are expensive, and I don't feel like spending the money on a set of Impro taillights when this is a daily car. This is my daily driver. This is the thing I drive every day to work. So some other things that are done to this. I have no more rear wiper. I do that to every single car I've ever owned. I just get rid of the rear wiper because I never actually use it. Um, stickers, cool. Stickers are cool. I got this. I got this. That right there, look at that. It's a little stubby antenna thing that I bought for my work for like, I don't know, like super cheap. I just wanted to do it. I had extra money laying around and I'm like, you know what? This will be perfect to add on to that order. There's a few other things on the exterior of this car that's kind of iffy. Uh, little dings, paints not the greatest. Um, both of my fenders are kind of fucked. I did that myself when I actually lowered the car. So the car is lowered on ECS tunings, 32 way adjustable coilovers, fantastic budget coilover, by the way. If you're looking for a set of coilovers for the Mark V platform, get those. The installation kit comes with everything you need. And I'm not just shilling this out because I work for ECS tuning, but I'm shilling it out because it's a good coilover setup. I stand by it as a customer more than anything. But yeah, so it's lowered and the old ride height I was running kind of, let me adjust the exposure. The old ride height I was running kind of fucked with both of the fenders. They chipped away some paint buckled them out a little bit, and it, it was on these wheels I have right now, which these are actually a set of Audi A3 wheels, surprisingly. I bought these down in Bowling Green, Kentucky for, I think, 500 bucks, wheels and tires. Needed a set for winter. These work fine. They do work fine. Actually, I really, really enjoy them. I like the look of the car like this, too. And the wheels I had before, I was running a set of Radiates, Bought them super cheap. They were on sale from VR wheels and I decided, you know what, let me go and get them. I needed a set of wheels for this car for the summer and I knew it was going to get lowered and everything. Bought a set, I'll have a few photos, video clips up off that. They looked good, but the way in the direction I wanna go with this car, it just didn't fit. I don't know how to put it. They're more of a stance wheel for sure, but I, I'm not much more of a stance guy as I thought I was. I thought I was a stance person, and I still enjoy the look of stance cars, but this this car, this car deserves more than getting put onto the ground than getting stanced. It, it really does. It deserves to be a nice daily, and I'll show you under the hood why that is true. Um, but exterior-wise, there's not much more to talk about. I do have a front lip for it on the way. I have uh, Mark 6 Golf R side skirts that I'm going to install at some point. 
But anyways, let's head on to the interior and I'll tell you what's going on with that. This is the interior. There's nothing much to really talk about. Actually, I lied. There's a lot to talk about. <laughs> this right here, this was a steering wheel I had on my Fiat 500 Abarth. Decided to put it onto this. I think it fits the interior very, very nicely. I have this BFI shift knob and shift boot, both in blue because I want the interior theme of this car to be blue. Uh, so that fits with that. And that had, that had me get motivation to take my rear door cards out because it's a Mark V and all Mark Vs, including the headliner, as you see, all the fabric just sorts, like it starts to peel up. The actual backing comes loose, the glue comes loose, and they you need them redone. And it's the worst part about owning a Mark V, <laughs> in all honesty. I absolutely hate this, but, you know, it's something I have to do. I already have the rear door cards out there in my apartment. It's going to be blue suede. It's going to look really nice. I have a set of seats on the way. Shout out to Status. So, I'll, I'll do a whole video on the seats when they get here, but these seats are going to be gone, kapush out of the way another little thing run line phone mount these are great mark 6 golf r stereo this is also great i hate all the cheap android auto ones that you find on amazon for like like they're ridiculous i don't like them i don't like the look of them and i got this radio for free so i decided to run it and i have a little bluetooth adapter that works super well with this this is a great radio and i'm glad i have it in here some more issues dash cracked it's a mark V. I got rid of the rear seats to do those door card things so as i said no rear seats headliners falling down it's a mark V. it does those things i got this stupid schlatt plushie that i decided to keep in here why well, i want to focus there we go and it's nice it's nice it's cool it's blue it has blue it fits the car i don't know if you can see it but my windshield is cracked and I did that myself on accident something got caught on that and then I pulled it and it pulled the actual glass and now it's cracked which sucks I need to get that fixed I don't know when I'm gonna get it fixed but it needs to be fixed anyways let's jump to under the hood and show you what I have done there all right there is nothing major done under the hood as you can see I do have an intake what intake do I have the APR Carbonio or whatever, you, I forget the actual name of this. It's an APR intake, cold air intake, which means this goes down into the actual fender, which then, I don't know if you can see the actual filter in there. No, you can't, but it sits somewhere in there. So I get cold air from down below and it goes into the actual engine like that. It's really nice. Fun fact, this is for a Mark VI Jetta, I think actually. And since this is a 2009 Mark V, that year began the switch for the 07K engines from a mass airflow sensor to a mass air pressure sensor. So what that means is there's no math in between here. So you can run Mark VI parts on this engine. And that's what I did. The only issue is secondary air. It's kind of exposed right there. It, I, I need to put something here to block that off. I haven't yet, but I got an ECS tuning skid plate all the way down there in that void that protects shit from getting up into here, which is really nice. It, it, it's nice. This engine has 106,000 miles on it, so it's relatively speaking low mileage-ish. It's not like super, super low miles, but it's, it's a lot less than you would suspect a Mark V to have it's really clean underneath not a lot of rust on important spots obviously there's going to be surface rust everywhere else let let me let me just get into what all i need to actually get done to this vehicle all right i have a full battery so let me sit down and walk you through the next few steps i need to get done with this bad girl here so biggest thing is just general maintenance the rear poly bushings well not the rear poly bushings it has no rear poly bushing those all the bushings need new bushings i'm gonna just upgrade to poly bushings while i'm in there because in all honesty who wouldn't want to do that who wouldn't want to upgrade their rear bushings to something that's better than stock and i think that's all i'm going to do with the rear 
I don't think I'm gonna do camber adjustment in the rear or toe adjustment quite yet. I think I'm gonna just keep it sort of like at zero. Um, I just, this is a daily car. And I, I've had thoughts about doing some track performance stuff to it, but it's it just, it's not desirable to me. This car is a reliable daily. The 07K engine in here is fantastic. Why would I want to not use this as a daily, essentially? So I ha I've been changing my mindset over this car over the past year, and it really is just a daily. A few other things I wanna do is I wanna start, you know, obviously I gotta redo the headliner, that's already planned. I need to finish doing the re, the entire interior just needs redone. I just need to finish doing the interior, redoing it, and it'll be nice. Those status seats are going to be absolutely fantastic in this car. I need a new set of wheels for summer. I, I don't wanna run the Audi wheels forever. And honestly, these are a great winter set. So I need new wheels for summer. I have a set of Mark VI GTI brake calipers that are going to go on here. So I'm gonna to switch to GTI brakes. So I have better braking feel because these stock brakes absolutely suck and I absolutely hate them. So those have to go. And at that same time, I'm gonna to upgrade to stainless brake lines. I'm gonna obviously have to flush the entire system out, which you guys will see potentially. I don't know. This is sort of on a whim for me making this video. And I just wanna go over this, this shit box here. I have a rep Votex lip that I just got that's going to go on here, so it's gonna look a lot better. I have those Mark VI Golf R side skirts that I need to either paint black or wrap black or potentially sell them and go with GTI side skirts for the Mark V because I kind of like that little plastic look. And it's durable and for a daily durability kind of triumphs overall in my opinion compared to it looking like a show car. But other than that, once I'm done with getting a majority of the exterior styling done and getting the interior done, it's onto the engine and it's just making it look nice, making it better, potentially getting it tuned, potentially getting headers and a intake manifold. I also need an exhaust. That's the other big thing. I really need an exhaust. I hate the fact that I can't hear this car. I love the fact that it's silent, but I need to hear a little bit more out of the exhaust side. So that's essentially my Mark V Rabbit, it, it's been a year since I bought it. And there's a lot more stuff I need to do to it. It's amazing how far it's come in a year, in all honesty. I'm genuinely amazed with how far this car has come from a stock, never modified, essentially daily driver, some guy owned out in Ohio, to this, a nice and clean enthusiast built daily that is hopefully going to run for years to come. Yeah, I think that's the ending of the video. I don't know what else to say. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, do all that bullshit. We'll see ya.